Well, winter's the perfect time because there's nothing like a bottle of wine, maybe some strawberries and chocolate and a nice roaring fire. And hopefully you've got a significant other, family and friends with you because wine alone is fantastic. Wine with family and friends and food is the best. Folks, how are you? My favorite thing to do is visit our guests that walk in the door and make sure they have a fantastic experience while they're here. There's something almost magical about Napa Valley. It's almost like it creates this mystical kind of environment where you can just feel your stress oozing out of you. This has been here over a hundred years. This is called a basket press. And originally, this is how they crushed grapes. This whole thing screws down and they'd put a basket at the below it, they'd put wine in it, and then this would crush the grapes and the juice would flow out. You could be anywhere in the world with the country view and the vineyards and the rolling hills. And it's not a very big valley. We're about three miles wide and about 30 miles long. There's about 160,000 people that live here. It's not a very big place, but it's such a special place here on Earth. I had a certain vision of what I wanted, and once we started to evolve and open the doors, it was beyond my expectation. It's very rewarding to share this environment with people, and that's why we built it, is to share it with our guests, let them have a fantastic tasting experience, enjoy Napa Valley, some of the fruits of our labor, and go home with wine and some fantastic memories. My son, Brandon, works in the facility. We hope for him to take over. His son, Chase, loves farming and machinery. His daughter, my granddaughter, Lily, loves entertaining customers and people. So we are truly indeed a family-owned, multi-generational business. So all the temperature control, all the barrels, these are all fermentation tanks. So we can control everything from here. I was previously in the uh, technology world and I was raised in San Mateo Love Napa Valley growing up. So I've spent a lot of time up here. And as a result, after we sold the computer company, I saw an opportunity to invest in property here and kind of fulfill a lifelong dream of building a winery in the northern part of Napa Valley. When people walk in our door, they're in a good mood and it's only gonna get better. So it's very rewarding to share this experience with those people. I get a lot of joy out of watching their happiness and then them walking away with you know, a great experience that they'll tell a friend or two. They'll open a bottle and these memories will come back and hopefully they'll share those with their friends. Uh, and you know, we're here to create those wonderful experiences. Last fire has been relentless, burning on all sides of us all day to the east, and now check it out to the west. During the fire, we lost three separate structures, two dozen pieces of equipment, two houses, four acres of vineyard. The wind just brought it right over the hill to us, and a 60 mile an hour wind, you can't stop a fire. It was devastating, and it's not discriminatory. It burns everything. So we spent about three months rebuilding, working with Napa County to get the permits to get open. At the end of 90 days, Governor Newsom had taken off the moratorium of the wineries, so we opened about the same time that our infrastructure was rebuilt. We've had to plant four acres of new vineyards. That's lost crop for four to five years. This is a hillside that is home to wineries and large luxury homes. When you see it on the news, it affects you because you have sympathy uh, for those people that are involved in fire. When you actually see your facility burning, it's devastating. You're helpless. And so what we decided to do is to take our Chardonnay crop, which is about 500 cases, and we're dedicating that to say, 
thank you to the first responders because without them, we wouldn't be here. You know, those people go into harm's way. So 50% of the proceeds that we uh, have are allocated to Santa Elena, Rutherford, and Calistoga Fire Department as our way of saying thank you for what you do. Those are our heroes. On the back of this, it says on September 27, 2020, the glass fire swept through Napa Valley, leaving much devastation in its wake. Davis Estates Winery was incredibly fortunate to have been saved by first responders. No words seem adequate enough to express our admiration and gratitude to these brave men and women. We can only try to give back for we're only as good as those who support us. A big thank you to those who selflessly give of themselves every day from Mike and Sandy Davis.